Okay, so we're going to get started here. Uh, real quick, uh, I'm going to assume that you have the Chirp software already installed in your computer. You have the propo, proper Bayo Fang uh, interface cord or programming cord. You're going to want to have this cord inserted fully. Okay, what you want to do is you want to turn the radio on. Oh, as a side note, I know that a lot of uh, people out there are take just taking off the factory antenna so they don't transmit on air or get a uh, interfe interference from an incoming transmission which will mess with your programming. Understand though, these radios are keyed up during the programming process. So what I like to do is I use the proper conversion cord. I'll leave a link to that down below. And I use a little five watt dummy load. And um, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna turn the radio on and we're gonna turn the volume up fully then we are going to load the Chirf software up in the computer. Okay. And we are going to click on radio. We're going to download from the radio, the information from the radio. You need to make sure a couple things. You have the proper COM port set. Uh, you want to check and make sure you have the Baofeng UV5R set in this case. Okay. You don't want to click OK. It's going to ask you if you're OK with that. You're, of course, going to say yes. Uh, while we're downloading, you can see that we're getting confirmation with the red transmit light there, blinking on and off. OK. All right. When we have confirmation, we'll get the little green light coming on. So what we're going to do in this demonstration is a very simple one. I am going to load up Muir's GMRS and FRS frequencies, and they make Chirp makes it really easy. Just make sure you get the latest version. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go import from stock configuration. I'm going to do the FRS and GMRS channels first because I want them in order. And what I mean by order is I want them from the lowest frequency to the top. And actually, before I do that, let me cancel this. You need to look. We're going to clear out channel zero we're just going to delete it i've seen this in some of them not all of them we're going to scroll down here to 127 all the way down there at the bottom and they've got one hidden in there we're going to delete that from this memory okay we're going to go back up all the way up to the top we see zero one two three four five and on what i want to do is i'm going to go from the lowest frequency up the lowest frequency is in mirrors so we're going to go to import from stock configuration. We're going to run down here to US FRS GMRS channels. Now, if I just hit OK, then they would start at channel 1. And then when I put mirrors in, mirrors is going to way, be way down in whatever it is, the 60s or 70s. I don't want to do that. I want these in order by frequency. So what I'm going to do over here is I am going to adjust the location. And I'm going to go plus one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to hit OK. What that did is that started my FRS here on channel six, which we're not going to worry about yet. Then we're going to go up here again to radio. We're going to go to import from stock. We're going to go down here to US Muir's channels. We're just going to click OK because they're going to load the first five. Now I have it channel one is mirrors channel one, and we're gonna go in order like that. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on radio. I'm going to upload to radio on COM5. All that stuff is set. Okay, so we are, right now we are cloning from the software to the radio, okay? This takes just a minute. Okay, we are now done cloning. The radio is going to do a reset. Now what we have here are frequencies. 151 on channel 1, just like we have up there on the software. So let's shut down the Chirp software. All right, it'll ask you if you want to make changes. You can save it to a file, yes or no. I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to turn my radio off 
as you saw that it was transmitting, right? That's why we have the dummy load on there. And it is warm, so it is putting out RF energy. It's another reason, because we're just testing with this, right? We're, we're not going to illegally use this radio on uh, frequencies here in America. That is wrong, so these are for testing purposes only. <clears throat> now, what we need to do... Channel mode. What we need to do is we are going to go... Frequency mode. Check our frequency mode. We're all good. Channel mode. We're going to go into channel mode here. Now, it's telling us that we are on 151.820, but it doesn't say the name of the channel. So I want it to say Muir's 1. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go into menu. Menu. I'm going to scroll down to about 21, if I remember right. Let's see here. It's hard to read. Okay. Uh, MDFA frequency. We are going to click menu. And we are going to go to name. We have channel frequency, which is what we were on, and name. We're going to hit menu. Confirm. All right. Now we're going to go and do that second uh, VFO. So we're going to go to MDFB. It was in frequency. So now we're going to go to menu. We're going to go to name again. We're going to confirm it. Confirm. Okay. Turn the unit off. Turn it back on. Channel mode. Now we have Muir's 1. Let's see if I can hold this and film at the same time. I'm sorry about that. So now we have that. Five, seven. See? One, two, three. Muir's four, 3. Five, Blue dot, green six, dot, FRS. Seven, eight, nine, one, zero, one, I hear a lot one. of the local schools right here. So what you could do is. You could make VFO A, your FRS, flip over to the second one, and you could go down. Five, seven, five, 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 three. And maybe go to five, mirrors. Five, 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 one, two, three. So now you can just go between whatever family radio service you want to go to. And there you go. It's as easy as that. We are ready to go. Just put in the antenna, but we wouldn't do that because we are in America and that is illegal. So here's what we do, because we can receive on these frequencies till the cows come home. This is great. The next thing we can do is be all legal beagle. Frequency mode. And then now you can just go and punch in your local repeaters, One. set your offsets. Four, six, six, two, zero, so now we have two meters. We can go down here to, uh, what is it, uh, 440, 770 meters, punch in your desired frequency, and legally transmit in the U.S. Amateur Band. All right, please leave questions or comments down below. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. Thank you very much.